Dropping off the Arnold Loon bike, just got the call to say mine's uh, ready for pickup. Hopefully, they fix the old uh, lazing to the left issue, as this is not the Millennium Falcon, it is a CBR 500. Alright, pretty mad little bikes, these. I, say, I, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of this bit, it's like a big fucking parachute. <laughs> It's a nice bike this actually, corners pretty well, corners better than the other ones but I think that must be down to the tyres because I thought it was just down to the bike, it didn't really like, didn't really like to be flicked around but this one does, or maybe it's my new um, steering technique that I've learned. Front wheel came up a little bit there, <laughs> starting to get used to it. Clutch is really far out. Like fucking 0 to 16, you've barely hit second gear. You only have a fucking half second of fun. Then Chica G in our BMW X1 comes and speeds past you. Because you've only got two points left on your license, you can't afford to get caught doing anything wrong. Just a generalisation, you know, not, not, nothing specific about anyone in particular. I keep hitting them with uh, the wing mirror when I go to put my hand down, because I'm not used to having mirrors there, like coming in low. I just like ah, grab the mirror and start controlling it by that. These are, these are being turned into traffic lights. It's not going to be around about much longer. I could have sped up and went through him, but the fact is it's roadworks and it doesn't like, I'm not going to get anywhere doing that. Back on my bag! It's been serviced and it's been washed. It's all clean. Feels just as good as ever. Fair dinkum. It's all red. Got a red little tassel. So everything's been swapped and lubed and adjusted and checked. Standard service shit. I do like how quickly the clutch engages on this bike rather than all the way at the end. I don't like that. Well, I might learn to like it, but I'm used to it engaging pretty quickly. Like, that's it all the way in. That's it engaged. Whereas the other one, it was like engaged right at the end. Brake lever's a bit spongier than the other bike. The brake lever's really hard on the other one. A lot of the brakes are probably just a, a wear thing, because obviously I've worn my pads down a little bit. So guys, um, I might be moving to Sydney. I, I spent the last week of my life um, in Sydney working. Uh, I think I mentioned this earlier. I did, I did mention it earlier. Um, to see how I liked it, and it's a big busy city. I think I mentioned all of that stuff anyway. But my predicament is the place I live at now. I'll show you that later on. I don't live there anymore, I couldn't care less. Um, I have to be out of there in four days time and it's currently Saturday so Saturday and Sunday are useless so I've got Monday which I have to work and then Tuesday I have to be out out of the house all of my belongings me out and I've got nowhere to go so it's good timing that work want me to go to Sydney because it means that I can just instead of Fucking around finding a new place to live on the Gold Coast, I can just go to the the house that my company owns in Sydney and live there. Otherwise, I have to find a place to live. And I've been trying this weekend. I've tried to organise viewings and meetings with people, not just like to rent my own house, but to go to go in a shared house. And people just don't fucking reply to texts and calls. 
trying to ride around and have a look at what's fucking available for for rents and house shares and stuff like that. It's proving to be mighty difficult. I would feel like this, but I just cannot be asked in the slightest. I really like the Gold Coast though. Mm -hmm. It sounds mean. Anyway, so here we are, back home with the sexual blue bike of blueness. Uh, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Just locked it in the garage. It's looking good, like. Apparently, there was a blowing bulb at the back. Don't know what bulb was blowing. Don't fucking care. So, I just want to say bye in this episode. This is my big empty house that nobody lives in anymore. This is the one I have to move out of, which is a crying shame, because it's a fucking excellent house. On the water as well, look at that. On the water. With a pool equipped with boat. Boat in the pool. Who doesn't love that shit? But anyway... I will see you, Rajis, next week in the next video. Toodles!